Science to me, I think, is discovery. To me, science is pursuing curiosity. Science to me is, it's about failing and learning from those failures. Science is truth. Uh, science is the most ingenious innovation in human history. The reason I got into science is just, I love learning and I love finding out how things work. ODU is a great place to come study ocean, earth, and atmospheric sciences. ODU is located right at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay near its confluence with the Atlantic Ocean, making it an excellent natural laboratory for us both to test methods, develop projects, as well as to just get out in the field. Here in Norfolk, where Old Dominion University is located, we have serious problems associated with, with flooding and sea level rise. Um, so in terms of studying sea level rise and doing research, this is a very interesting place to be. There's a lot of opportunities here. I'm a second year master's student at Old Dominion University. I am a chemical oceanographer and I am my final year master's student. I'm studying biological oceanography. Uh, specifically, I'm looking at uh, small little organisms called phytoplankton um, in our local rivers. I study the physics of light in the water, so how light behaves in the water and how that affects the biology that use that for energy. I think that what's so special about ODU oceanography is that you get experiences here that you wouldn't get anywhere else. Most students that um, uh, go to ODU get to actually take out our uh, research vessel, the RV Face Slover. We spend a lot of time focusing on organic chemistry, so we go out and we gather a lot of water samples and then we filter them below deck. We also spend some time gathering sediments from the bottom of the ocean. One of the really cool things about the program is uh, there's a lot of diverse um, faculty here. These pilot projects have been operating since June. I'm a marine microbial ecologist. I study coastal sediment transport and deposition. I'm interested in propagation of light in the ocean, photosynthesis, and primary productivity of coastal marine systems, including phytoplankton, seagrasses, and seaweeds. My uh, specialty is chemical oceanography. I'm an oceanographer and I use uh, measurements from satellites, remote sensing, to measure sea level height. My uh, research uh, focuses uh, mostly on computer ocean uh, models where we simulate the ocean on the computer. My um, specialty is studying the deep sea microbial processes. I'm a marine biogeochemist and I study various aspects of how microbes mediate the marine carbon and nitrogen cycles. I'm a molecular microbial ecologist. I work with phytoplankton, so I consider myself a phytoplankton whisperer of sorts. We are a state university, but global in the scope of our research. One of the things I like uh, about this department is the, the enthusiasm they have for, for international and, and far-flung research. If you want to um, ask big questions or questions at a global scale, you need to uh, have the support of a department that's willing to let you address those questions at the global scale. Between all the faculty, we're, we're out all the, almost every month, every year. Uh, with my laboratory, we do a lot of these major expeditions across whole ocean basins, and we'll do those about every two years, and we're gone for a couple of months. I've been to the Arctic, I've been to the Ross Sea in Antarctica, and to the subtropical ocean, Bermuda, uh, the Pacific, a lot of different places uh, where we take our samples, and yes, we take our students with, uh, with us. My lab and I got to go to Antarctica, and it was a really rewarding experience for us. Um, we got to look at the organisms that we are really passionate about in a really awesome environment. I think one of the most exciting moments is really um, getting back the data from the project you've been working on for years, um, and then being able to present that data at um, academic conferences. Uh, it's just really cool to get feedback on the things you've been working on um, here at ODU for years. Most of the research projects that we undertake nowadays are interdisciplinary. They're and that requires you to exploit the skills uh, and expertise of multiple faculty members. And we, we make sure that we try to give you that diversity of background and experience that will allow you to be as interdisciplinary as possible. Everyone is treated as if they're on the same level at the scientific community, which is really nice because you can really put together some neat ideas with, uh, with all the people around you. It makes for uh, a very fertile ground for collaboration and doing research projects uh, together and in a much more comprehensive way. 
What it means for me to be a scientist is to never stop asking questions and spending a lot of time just having questions that you have no idea what the answer to is and finding that answer through the scientific ideas and methods.